Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? We both know this manifest will get you sent away for a long time. Absolutely, Earth Clan. For the manifest, I'll give you all the creds I made selling the Minigen. Here's the manifest. Next time you do something illegal, don't write it down. An excellent point, Earth Clan. You're clearly a better criminal than I. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions. But I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to swear the most difficult of Justicar oaths. The third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. You'll be a great asset to our mission. I'm excited to have you along. I am glad to hear it. I will fight by your side, kill your enemies, and protect your friends. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting, but I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I still got a spiraling in crime rate. I'll be on my way. Be well. Value the Justicar. I've never heard of one working with a human before. You're still here? I'd have left as soon as the Justic. Is there something else I can do for you? Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. 
I must meditate on the day's events. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? I do. I suppose we should talk. I don't know what this is. If this is stress, or just blowing off steam, or... I care about you, Miranda. And I think you care about me. This is no time for emotional entanglement. You and I know more about the Collectors than anyone. We know how unlikely it is that we're coming back alive. What idiotic bunch of hormones thought that now was a great time for love? It doesn't matter. What matters is how we feel. Damn it. Come on, Miranda. You want this. Yeah, I do. So don't die. You promised me, damn it. I died once already. I don't plan to do it again. Give me some time. When I'm ready, I'll come by, okay? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. <laughs> 